What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my 8 favourite keyboard shortcuts to make your video editing faster and hopefully it helps you guys out as well. Let's go! Now before we start guys, if you are new around here, my name is Keenan. I'm a filmmaker from London, I travel around the world and produce videos and photos for brands around the world and I'm using YouTube as a platform for me to help share the knowledge that I know to people who are aspiring to do the same things as I do and hopefully learn some new things along the way. If you are new, please subscribe, give this video a like and if you do have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Right, let's get on with the video. And with my keyboard shortcuts guys, it's a bit of a clickbait title really. I actually have a mouse. This is a gaming Razer mouse. It's got 12 buttons on the side which I can assign to any command I like in Premiere Pro that you know that you can assign commands to. So I'll link this in the description below. If you do want to purchase it, it's not that expensive and it honestly speeds up my workflow so much. The first couple of commands guys that I'm going to tell you is how to set an in and out point. I have assigned the in point to the number 2 and the out point to number 3. The numbers 2 and 3 are directly next to each other on the mouse so I can easily set my in and out points whenever I want. So I can just watch the clip and where I feel like I want it to go in I just press the number 2 and then when I want the clip to end I just press the number 3 and then I can instantly drag that down to my timeline and that clip will be in rather than having to you know I think the default command is to have an open bracket and the close bracket to set it but for me it's too far on the keyboard to even press the button so having the numbers two and three that are completely next to each other I just got to move my thumb just a tiny bit press the buttons and I set my in and out points and I'm ready to go I know these buttons are on my mouse but there are obviously number pads on keyboards these numbers still completely work I can still press the number two and number three to set my in and out points on my keyboard if I want to so guys for my third keyboard shortcut it's to delete a clip uh, or delete anything that's on the timeline that I've selected and I've chosen this as the number five the reason I like number five is that for me it's the central button where my thumb lies all I have to do is move the mouse find the clip that I want I just press the number five it's easy the clip is gone I don't have to take my hand off the mouse and press the delete button because um, that doesn't necessarily take a lot of time but it's effort trying to you know move your hand you know to the backspace button and then back to the mouse again and then carry on doing things when all I have to do is click press number five and the clip is completely gone so for my fourth command guys it would be the ripple delete i've assigned this to button number one the reason i've set this to command number one and not like a number near five is that i wanted to make a clear distinction between the two buttons which is why i've set it to number one so here if i wanted to delete a clip i'll just press the middle one or i want to press this one and then i press number one and then the clip that i've selected would be removed and then the two outermost clips will be joined together to make a linear timeline and my next numbered command for you guys would be the effect controls. The reason I've assigned a command to the effect controls is that it is one of the most important screens that you have to go to. It allows you to set your opacity, keyframes, your position, everything to do with your video. For Premiere Pro, because I'm working on a laptop and it's quite a small screen, I can't have lots of different windows for like the media browser, the effect controls, the metri scopes. I can't separate them because my screen's not big enough. I also use this window as the source monitor. So if I'm finding a clip on my media browser and I click it, it will come up on this window. So usually it takes quite a while for me to switch from the source monitor to the effect controls by having to click these tiny little tabs at the top. So what I do, I sign this to the button number four and it is so much easier to just go into your effect controls and change whatever you like, even if it's on the source monitor initially. So setting a command for the effect controls is something that I really do recommend you guys do. Right, that is it for the numbered commands. Um, now I'll be moving on to the keyboard and I'll be showing you guys a few of my combination keyboard shortcuts. So the first one that I have assigned is the speed and duration. In Premiere Pro, I tend to slow down my footage a lot. Sometimes I import it into an 100 frames a second and I need to speed it up or slow it down. And I've assigned this to the letter S which is super quick, you know, you just want to click on a clip and you want to change the speed. I just press the letter S and then the speed and duration thing comes up. And the good thing about having this mouse is that the buttons still work to input numbers as well. So say I wanted to slow this clip down to 25%, I'll just press S. Because my thumb is already on these buttons on the side, I can just press 2.5 and change that to 25%. 
This is so much quicker because I don't have to right click, scroll down the menu to speed and duration. So using the letter S to control my speed and duration is something that has changed my workflow completely. Another keyboard shortcut I really want to show you guys that's related to speed slightly is interpreting your footage. So interpreting footage essentially conforms your footage to the sequences settings. So say if your sequence settings were set at 24 frames a second, but your footage was at 25 frames a second, if you put that into your timeline, there will be some weird frames that skip every now and then. So interpreting footage makes your 25 frames per second footage into 24 frames per second footage. I've assigned this to the keyboard shortcut, which is Command, Shift, and I. The reason I've used Command, Shift, and I is because the I is obviously the beginning letter of the word interpret. I tend to do this a lot with my commands because it's easy to remember. So like, as I said for speed earlier, it was S, and now interpret footage is Command, Shift, I. Usually if I didn't have this command, I have to go through a couple of sub menus and then click on that and then it just takes a bit too long and using command shift I is so much quicker than navigating through your menus. So my next command for you guys would be nesting your footage and basically nesting is like, it's quite hard to describe but I interpret it as merging all like the effects that you've put onto a video clip into one and then it puts it back into the timeline for you. This allows you to add multiple effects that you wouldn't be able to do, but that will come in a later video. It's a bit confusing, but nesting your footage is quite important for you guys that do video editing. And my command for that is using Command, Shift and N. All I've got to do is go in the clip, press Command, Shift, N, and then press Enter and the clip is nested. Like I don't need to use the mouse, I don't need to scroll or anything. All I gotta do, find the clip, Command Shift N, nest the footage, and it's all done. So yeah, that marks the end of the video, guys. I'm sorry if I spoke a bit too fast. I just wanted to get it done in as quick as I could because I didn't want the video to be too long. Um, I've linked all my commands in the description below, and I've also linked a purchase kind of uh, Amazon affiliate link to this mouse below if you wanna purchase it. But I really do recommend getting this mouse because these buttons here, you can change them to whatever you want. I could, ev I can even add more commands if I wanted to, but I just haven't found the need to use them yet. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do have any more questions or any suggestions for next videos, like what you want to see next, so say if you want to learn a bit more about video editing or photo editing, whatever you prefer, please let me know in the comments section below. Subscribe if you're new, give this video a thumbs up, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Take care.